Hello, this is Ruth Ann. Welcome to my channel. Uh, I'm going to do a video I've done several times before, which is a vacation perfumes video. So <clears throat> I recently went on a trip. It was not by plane, but rather by car. And so I was able to take several perfumes with me. And um, I just wanted to give you an idea of what I took and what I thought of them and how they wore and they're all smaller bottles of perfume and then as a bonus I have a haul of two new perfumes I'm kind of on a no buy so I'm not I haven't been doing a lot of hauls but I do have two new ones that I wanted to share with you so I'm going to start with the vacation perfumes so this is the bag that I took with this is an old Clinique bag that I got at a thrift store because that's pretty much where I buy most things like this so I took how many five or six I forget and I like you know I have different moods I wear something in the morning something in the afternoon maybe two three more the next day um, so I like and I never really know what I'm gonna want so I try to take a variety of different things and this time around I wanted to take smaller bottles so this is all they're not tiny bottles but they're definitely on the smaller side so without looking I'm just gonna kind of reach in and grab so I'll start with this one. Okay, so this is Amour Amour by Cacherelle. This is beautiful. And every time I wear it, I am reminded of how much I love this perfume. It's very sweet. It's, it's not really candy sweet. Um, I guess I always compare candy sweet to pink sugar. Pink sugar is easily the sweetest thing. The only thing that might come close would be Britney Spears Circus Fantasy. That's maybe cl as close to pink sugar as sweet can get. Um, this is sweet, but it's not that sweet. So what it smells to me is candied rose. You definitely get the florals in here, the ro and it's rose really to, to uh, in my opinion, and, but it's a candy. So imagine if you had a candy that was rose flavored. That's what this smells like. It's very long lasting. It's very strong. It only requires two or three sprays and it lasts a good six to eight hours. Uh, of course, I overspray it anyway, but it's just really, really beautiful and not too expensive. If you get this size bottle, if you try to find the, the um, I believe this is 1.2 ounces. If you want to get 3.3, you're going to pay a lot more money just get this size and you can get two of them for less than the price of a larger one really really nice next okay so this one is by Jovan and this one is called oh, what is it called I thought I could see it on here um I've, I've traveled with this before and I know I've had it on this channel. It's almost empty. I don't remember the name of it, but I will look it up and I will have it on the in the information box down below. This is a beautiful warm yellow musk with tropical flowers. It's a very tropical warm perfume. Sometimes tropical florals can be kind of cold in my opinion. Um, this is not that. This is just a very warm, it's primarily musk. That's number one. Number two would be the um, tropical florals. I can't really pick out which tropical floral. Maybe frangipani. Uh, I'm not really sure. Hibiscus, perhaps. But it's really, really pretty. I can't imagine anyone disliking it. Again, I'll have the name in the description box. All right, so this is one that everyone knows. This is Sarah Jessica Parker, lovely. I'm, I was a little late to the party on this fragrance. I have seen tons of YouTube videos about it and everyone talks about it. It's in all the videos about if you wanna get a really pretty, really long lasting, inexpensive fragrance, then it seems like Sarah Jessica Parker's lovely is on all of those lists and I had sampled it in the stores and I was very underwhelmed by it and so I never bought it and then one day I found it for a really good price on eBay and purchased it and I thought well I'm just gonna instead of just sampling it I'm gonna really give it a wear and I'm happy to 
announce that I was <clears throat> absolutely wrong about how underwhelming this fragrance is. It is actually lovely. Really, really like it. It's one of my absolute favorites. So this is just a white musky floral fragrance. It's definitely a white musk. It's a dry, slightly peppery, but it's very classy, very feminine. The thing about it is that it, it has a great performance. It projects really well and it leaves a beautiful scent trail. It's feminine, it's soft, it's slightly powdery, but it's also got this peppery, pep, uh, peppery, preppy vibe, vibe. This is something that you could easily smell at a high-end country club on all the ladies there, maybe during the day while they're playing tennis, probably not there for a big luxury, you know, wearing gowns kind of event, we're drinking martinis. But this would be the ladies who were there playing tennis and the lacrosse and things like that in, in a country club. It's really, really pretty. You just can't get, it's hard to imagine anything better for as good of a price as this. And this one I bought in a thrift store and I paid $8 for it. And when I bought it, it was full. So you can see I've got a pretty good dent in there. And I think I do have already another backup bottle, full size. All right, let's see. I have two more in here. All right, so this is a really great one. This one is by Guy La Roche, which is a French fashion house. And this one's called J.O.C. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correct, uh, but it, and in French, it should mean something I dared. I dared. So this was a 1978 fragrance. It's a sandalwood and amber heavy, classy fragrance. It's, it's technically considered a woody amber. It's very earthy, spicy. It's slightly powdery in the dry down, but that is more in the background. That's not a predominant uh, character of this fragrance it's very nice but it's very bold it's very strong you can see i don't even have much of a dent in it that's how strong it is i only wear a couple of sprays this is an edp so it's very strong and it's a small bottle it's only 30 mils i bought this just because i was really curious again it was on ebay i don't know if it's still manufactured or if it's discontinued but if you like old school fragrances like Anything sandalwood heavy, if you like um, Avon's Candid, if you like uh, Charlie, Charlie Blue, if you like, oh, what's that sandalwood fragrance um, in the red bottle hmm. by Guerlain? It's escaping me right now. Someone will remember what I'm talking about, but that's also a very sandalwood heavy fragrance. You'll like this if you like those fragrances. And if you find it for a good price, I highly recommend it. And very, very good performer too. And I have one more. All right, so this is Clinique Wrappings. This is a fragrance that they, I don't know if this has been discontinued or if it's still around because a couple of years ago, someone on this channel recommended it to me because it's a really strong green fragrance and I love green fragrances. And I don't know if this has been discontinued because when I tried to find it on different websites for new releases, I couldn't find it, but I did end up buying this and another one on eBay. This is a nuclear strength green fragrance. It's big time Christmas vibes. I'm not sure why it's called wrappings. <laughs> But it's this really harkens back to the days that I remember in the 80s when a fragrance really, really was strong. You'd put on one, maybe two sprays, and you would be able to smell it all day. And you'd smell it on your clothes three days later, and it's just really, really strong. And that's what this is. So if you like green fragrances and you can find this for a good value, it's aldehydic, it's very old school, it's green like pine green. It's it's really beautiful. I love it, but I have to be careful about where and when I wear it because it is so strong. I think this is one that I tend to like, I don't care. I wear whatever I want, wear it whenever I want, you know, but this one, even I'm a little reluctant to wear just anywhere because it is so strong. And I think it, I'm not trying to offend people. And this one is 
because people are so easily offended nowadays by fragrance uh, that they don't like, I, I'm a little hesitant to wear this. Um, yeah, so anyway, Clinique wrappings. All right, now I'm going to move on to, that's it for this bag, it's empty. I'm going to move on to the two fragrances that I got for a haul. One was a win and the other one was not as much of a win. So I'm going to start out with the one that was a little bit of a disappointment. This one is called Double Fresh in English or in French it would be Double Fraîcheur pour lui. So what that means is for him. And what I didn't realize, um, because when I first found this on eBay, it was listed as a unisex fragrance and I wanted to boost up my collection in terms of freshies for summer. And I thought, well, what's better than double fresh, right? And this is one by, this is by Molinard. And Molinard is a French house that is really, really good quality. They put out really good stuff. And I'm not saying this is bad, but what I'm saying is the, whoever listed on eBay said that it was unisex. I trusted them wrongly. This is proof that I can make mistakes and that I need to be more careful because right on the bottle here it says pour lui which means for him so this is a male fragrance and then when I looked it up on Fragrantica they list it also as a male fragrance so this one was released by Molinard in 2000 and it's an aromatic fresh spicy fragrance so when you first spray this there's like a blast of lime or citrus but what I get out of the citrus the most is lime. And it comes with a, a just a, it's just a blast. It's very strong. It's, and then the dry down, you get kind of this aromatic, spicy kind of a vibe. It's definitely leans masculine. I wouldn't say it's hyper masculine, but it's definitely one my husband could wear without any trouble. And my husband's very, very sensitive to anything that could even be remotely feminine. So that tells you something about this fragrance. He, he would wear this. I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to wear it or if I'm going to be able to wear it. I may just sneak it into his cupboard. I'm going to give it some more wears. Those spices in there are just a little too masculine for me, at least on the on first wear when I was testing it. I don't think it was... If I remember rightly, this was around you know 50 bucks, so not super cheap but not super expensive. And it's a nice, good size bottle too. I think this might be four ounces. Let me look here. Oh, I don't know. No, it's 3.3, 3.3 fluid ounces. It just looks bigger than that to me. So anyway, um, this would be, if you know a guy that likes fresh, spicy, aromatic fragrances, this would be perfect. It's got a kind of a barbershoppy kind of feeling to it too. And that's another thing. I don't want to smell like a barbershop. <laughs> so I don't know about this, but I just wanted to show it to you. It is something unique. I don't, I've never really seen anyone talk about it before. Uh, I would love to smell it on my husband, but I don't think I'm going to be able to wear it. Next up is one that was a big win for me. I really, really like this. This one is by Maison Alhambra. And this one's called Phylos Opus Noir. And here's the box. So I did a little bit of research on this. There's very little on it, uh, on this, uh, on Fragrantica. There's, there is a, yeah, there is an entry for this. There's only one, maybe two reviews of it. I believe this is supposed to be a dupe for some high-end expensive fragrance, but they didn't come right, right out and say it. Um, but what it is, is it's a two, two, I'm sorry, 2022 release. It's a very heavy, very complex fragrance. It's very complex. This is one of the most complex fragrances I've ever owned. And you know, I, I own a lot and I love complexity. And I actually saw a review of this that included this fragrance and it was in a, like a, cheapies video that someone had done because this fragrance believe it or not was under $20 on eBay very very inexpensive but it smells super expensive and it was the reviewer listed it as one that she didn't like she didn't think she would wear 
but her description of it captured me so much that I'm like, okay, I have to buy that because it sounds like something right up my alley. And thankfully I was correct. So this Opus Noir is considered a woody yellow floral. At least that's how Vagrantica listed it. And I would describe it as, it's more woody incensey. It, it almost gives a church vibe in terms of incense. And it's, but it's got a lot of nutmeg, cedar, and vanilla, but it doesn't smell like Christmas. You know, that nutmeg, you would think, oh, you know, pumpkin spice. No, not at all. Not at all. Nutmeg is there. I really, it blends. It's so well blended. I don't really pick it up individually, but I can tell that there's a lot of herbs and spices in here. It's very dense, very complex. It, to my nose, the most, um, the strongest notes in here are cedar, vanilla, and I get a lot of incense. And I love incense perfumes. I actually burn incense at home in the winter. I don't in the summer, but in the winter, I really enjoy the smell of it. And I love coming into the room where incense has been burning previous and that lingering scent in the air and the way that the fabrics in the room pick up that scent. It's kind of like when I go to church on Sunday, oftentimes, especially when there's been a, a church service right before the one I'm at and they've been burning a lot of incense. I love that smell. I know there's a lot of people, a lot of Karens around nowadays that cough and cough and carry on about incense, but I love that smell. And this reminds me of that. It's not 100%. It only gives the hint of it, but and long lasting, you guys, this is amazing. Just a beautiful, if you like complex, incensey, woody, really mysterious, I'm trying to think of where would I even wear this fragrance. You know, this is definitely date night, winter, black turtleneck, sweater, you know, wearing a pearl necklace kind of a, of a fragrance. But I would also wear this to an evening wedding. I would wear it. I mean, gosh, I would wear it just sitting around the house because I love it so much. But that's just me. I know I'm not I'm not exactly normal. So um, that's all for this video. And thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any of these fragrances or if you, what you think of them. I'd really be interested in your opinions and I will have all the information. I don't do links or anything like that. Believe me, I'll never monetize this. I'm not making any money. I'm just a regular lady who does these videos while I'm, like, I'm, while I'm making supper. I've got supper in the oven and I'm doing laundry and I've got a few minutes to sit down and film a video. I'm just one of those that is sharing with you my love for perfumes. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.